Saudi Arabia has planted over 141 million trees so far as part of its national afforestation program, one of the core components of the Saudi Green Initiative. The mass planting drive is a bold counter to the kingdom's historical environmental challenges. Of course, that's why it's being undertaken and a major step forward toward climate adaptation in one of the world's very driest and warmest countries, as we know and discussed at the beginning of this show. The goal, of course, is 10 billion trees by 2050. And so we're, you know, one, we're, we're 10% there. No, we're, we're like 1.41% there. We got a lot of trees to plant, but we're off to a good start. Trees have been planted across 150 sites in Saudi Arabia, including deserts, parks, uh, cities, and city peripheries. Satellite monitoring is being used to track survival rates and ecological impact, which is awesome. And yeah, I mean, this really ties directly into Saudi Arabia and Riyadh's bid to be a leader in the environmental space. Um, it's part of the whole green initiative. It's part of the the vision for the kingdom to to undergo these type of uh, projects, including making cities and stuff cooler. And there's a lot of benefits to Saudi Arabia for doing this, but it's part of its sort of like global contribution to combating climate change. Um, and yeah, I just, so 141 million trees, Dr. Hannah, what do you think? That's a lot of trees. I think, you trees. know, one of the things that a lot of people consistently raise as a point when talking about planting trees in the Saudi Green Initiative is that water remains a concern in a region that obviously does not have a lot of it. So I think it's really important to highlight that Saudi Arabia is aware of that and is using, um, you know, a shift to basically uh, tr treated wastewater uh, in order to irrigate uh, the trees and kind of agricultural planting that's not necessarily for human consumption. But in addition to that, they really are looking at a shift to native species and making sure that the trees that are being planted are resourceful trees that can survive in the climate of Saudi Arabia and can survive beyond kind of what um, trees in other parts of the world might need in terms of um, access to water. Some trees are incredibly resilient in that way. And also, I think it's really important to think about then what Saudi Arabia is doing in other tech around agriculture. So vertical uh, greening, mangrove restoration, which is basically um, replanting trees that are that grow in the sea uh, as uh, so mangrove restoration along the coasts and then um, other ways of ensuring that people are aware of how to preserve and maintain kind of a, a sustainable green economy in different ways so I think there's a lot that's being done that's not just planting trees that don't belong in that part of the world it's actually a very um, it's a, a calculated approach to greeting the, uh, the environment.